Good morning and welcome to the first ever big travel vlog on Pleasure Beach Experience YouTube. Today, myself, Scott, Mitch, my younger brother, and Mullet, also known as Rich, are traveling to Cedar Point in the United States of America. Cedar Point is like the bucket list theme park, amusement park for many, many roller coaster enthusiasts, and it's not the easiest place to get to from the UK. We're doing a bit of an interesting route there, so if you stick with us in this travel vlog, we'll explain to you how we're going to get to Cedar Point on a budget. Enjoy the video, guys. Right, we are recording. So, we are on the M11. We're about 18 miles away from London Stansted. We've done it in good time, really. It took us, well, by the time we get there, it'll take us about three and a half hours. We've had a stop at some services that I cannot remember the name of. So just to go into the details of our Cedar Point trip a little bit, we booked it about five weeks ago. It was a little bit of a spur of the moment decision, just on the basis of seeing Steel Vengeance, his construction and all the stuff that was going on with it. Also, it's a bit of a bucket list theme park, amusement park, whatever you want to call it for me. I've wanted to go on Magnum XL for a lot of years, Top Frill Dragster as well, which I know Mitch is quite anxious about. So looking forward to doing that. Um, we could have flown to probably any of the airports near to Cedar Point but we did look at Cleveland to start with and it was like two grand or something like that so I did a little bit of research on Skyscanner and it turned out doing a flight with Wow Air from London Stansted to Reykjavik firstly and then Reykjavik to Detroit was the cheapest option we got the flights for as little as £300 return now a lot of people want to go to Cedar Point but do actually struggle to get there so what I would recommend to anyone who does want to go is to check out Skyscanner just put in any dates and see what works for you so once we get to Stansted we're going to be flying to Reykjavik in Iceland we're then there for about an hour and a half we then fly to Detroit then from Detroit we'll be staying there for a couple of hours before we drive down to Cedar Point we are staying on site at Cedar Point so we've got early access into the park which is great really because I would imagine it's going to be busy especially with Steel Vengeance only just opening also with it only being on one train as well we need to make sure that we get on it as quick as we can when we can the weather does look a little bit iffy at times so it may be one of those trips where we get there and find it quite a bit shut due to the rain if that does happen we do have a couple of backup parks in mind Kings Island and Kennywood being the two parks that I've looked at on RCDB that are near to Cedar Point and probably back up options but for now we're just going to carry on driving along the M11 this sign will tell us we're 16 miles from Stansted and once we get to Stansted before we check in and everything we are going to go to McDonald's again there's a little McDonald's next to Stansted's car park so we're going to go there probably have a couple of double cheeseburgers and then go and check in so we'll see you at McDonald's <laughs> boarding wow air wow 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 let's go to america
how are you enjoying Keflavik or whatever it's called? Wow. Wow? wow. How was the flight with wow? It's was actually, it wow? It was quite nice, yeah. Yeah. I'd say like wow. Like, <laughs> I think, a wow weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow weekend. Yeah, definitely a wow weekend in the States. So we're just waiting for our flight to Detroit now, aren't we? Yeah. So. I called it Rickovic Airport before, that's what it says on the paperwork, but here it says Kefalek. I don't know its actual name. If somebody knows how it's actually pronounced, please let us know in the comments. I have no idea how you pronounce it. No. So we have finally arrived in the United States of America. It has been an epic journey for me, Mitch and Rich, but it's all worth it for Cedar Point. So as we said a lot earlier in this travel vlog, this has been very much a budget trip to make sure that we were able to do Cedar Point this year. There is many different ways of getting to Cedar Point. There's expensive ways and there's budget ways. We could have done an expensive route, but it probably would have meant going at the end of the year or oh, well, September, October time, but we wanted to get on Steel Vengeance and everything else pretty early. So here we are. If you want me to explain more in the comments about the travel details, what we've done exactly, please feel free to ask, but I'll do a little run through now. So we went from Crewe to Stansted. We then went Stansted to Keflavik or Rikovic. I really don't know what it's called. We then flew from there to Detroit we're now in a, an airport hotel at Detroit and in about five hours time we are driving to Cedar Point. The weather is absolutely dreadful tonight, we've got absolutely soaked picking up the car hire. The windscreen wipers didn't work very well so it's been a bit of a disaster since we got here but it's all going to be worth it as long as everything is open at Cedar Point. So we will continue this travel vlog in the morning at, on the way to Cedar Point. So good night everyone. And we're now on See The Point Drive. And it's time to get these two's reactions oh on my camera. God, I've just seen it. I've just seen it. Oh, oh fucking Jesus. hell. That looks amazing. I know we can't pick it up on the GoPro, but holy oh, shit, Jesus. I've missed this place. Fuck. Christ. That looks like something you would make on Planet Coaster. That doesn't look real. I'm, uh, I'm doing well not to exceed the speed limit I here. <laughs> Just want to put my foot down and has anyone got a hovercraft? <laughs> Straight over the water. So, for those of you who don't know, I have been here before. I came here in 2013, but I've got three new coasters since since then. So. <laughs> oh, get the Coca-Cola van into oh, Mike. Coca-Cola. Mike, always Coca-Cola. <laughs> so oh, yeah, what yes. did you think of that? Wow. And not wow air. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, I really that hope on, that was on camera. That is on camera. That is brilliant. <laughs> Somewhere under my seat. Don't let me forget that. We're we getting out of the car. It is an incredible place.
you know when you drive into Fort Park and you see the coasters and you think yeah here yeah. we go good day you come you, you come, come here, here and it's just like wow yeah that oh. dive coaster is big you're gonna brick it on I you. am gonna shit it <laughs> oh is anyone getting this picture for PV Facebook I will do when I get out of the car <laughs> Anywhere, mate, I'd say. Should we just follow all of these? Yeah, just don't go and disabled. 